Kenya continues to dwarf its peers in the eastern African region uh, as it boasts of the highest installed electricity capacity. This is according to the latest Energy and Petroleum Statistics report, which also puts the renewable energy contribution at nearly 85% of installed capacity. Dennis Ocheno reports. The report by the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, shows Kenya is leading in terms of installed capacity at 3,311 megawatts as at June 2023. This capacity constitutes 46% of the entire regional installed capacity, which stands at 7,252 megawatts. Tanzania and Uganda follow closely as they contribute 25.5% and 22.06% respectively. Rwanda, which increased its installed capacity by 39 megawatts, has a capacity of 331 megawatts. Burundi and Zanzibar close the block with less than 200 megawatts installed. During the review period, the report shows 84.65% of the energy supplied to the country's national grid was obtained from renewable energy sources. Thermal plants accounted for 10.5%, with the rest coming from imports. As we speak today, we are connecting customers on the last mile. Industry is being built. So there is growth on the ground. Generation is not a major problem, but we do not have the transport route to take that power to market. And then we need to work on that. Building infrastructure is not an overnight job. Demand for liquefied petroleum gas recorded a decrease in 2022 to 333,830 metric tons from 373,865 metric tons in 2021. The government is, however, continuing with its policy to promote use of clean energy. The Finance Act of 2022 tried to introduce VAT on uh, LPG and some other, uh, some other taxes as well. But this one within the Finance Act have been removed, which means when you look at even the con consumption numbers, uh, very soon we, 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 are, we are seeing LPG consumption going back again. And the initiatives to have uh, OTS, if it works for LPG, it will be a game changer uh, for us. Going forward, the report anticipates a further growth in the country's installed capacity driven by developments in the Menengai geothermal field. This projected rise is anticipated to come from various initiatives with respect to renewable energy development, particularly geothermal, the 105 megawatts in Menengai, and also the geothermal development company's development of the Baringo Silali steam fields with an expected output of an initial 300 megawatts. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.